Hello, welcome back to our channel. My name is Julie, otherwise known as Mrs. Frugal Trash to Cash. If you're new here, my husband and I are both full-time resellers. We mainly sell on eBay, but we dabble in a little Poshmark too. So we've been reselling full-time for about two and a half years now, and it's how we completely support our family of three. <music> So in today's video, we're going to go over these cool kind of unique items that we found over this weekend at an estate sale. But first, I want to give you some updates because I don't know about you, but I like to see how things are going for people when they buy big lots or, you know, get a deal on something. So the updates I want to give you are first off um, from our Chico's wholesale box video. So if you haven't seen that, there's a video where I um, unbox a wholesale lot of Chico's items. Um, I didn't know what was gonna be in the box and I opened it up on camera. So, so far we have sold 15 pieces from the box. So just to give you a background, if you didn't see that video, I paid $102 for the box and um, it was had 40 pieces in it. I ended up not being able to list two of the pieces because they were damaged. And um, so I listed 38 total. So my buy cost was around $2.69 an item. So, so far I've sold 15 items and I've made $118.83 profit. So if we do math, yes, math is hard. I have like 23 items left to sell. So I guess that one's not too, too bad. What I haven't talked about on here is I decided to purchase a second box. I had such like good results with the first box, like right out of the gate. And I was like, I'm going to do a second box. Unfortunately, the second box has not been so well. So I got these boxes from Help C Source and um, it's just like a wholesale company. They do like clothes recycling and stuff. So you can buy manifested boxes so you know exactly what you're getting, or you can buy boxes that, you know, it's kind of a mystery, which is what I got. Um, so my second box was also 40 items and I paid $102 also because I have used a 15% off coupon both times that I shopped. But my second box had so many damaged items like holes, tears, stains that I could not get out. I had buckets of OxyClean going for days trying to get them out. So at this point, I was able to list 23 pieces, but I would say four or five of those pieces are listed with flaws. So I had to, you know, put in the title, they have flaws um, because they had stains that I couldn't get out. So I am not sure how many more pieces I'll be able to list. So my buy cost is going to be way more on that box. I did contact the company in case any of you are wondering. I didn't ask for money back or anything. Um, I just was curious. I told them my experience. My first box only had two damaged pieces. It was awesome. Their site says you should expect a 15% defect rate, which means if I buy a box of 40 pieces, my defects, there should be up to six pieces that, you know, have significant defects on them. Um, but then I told them that my second box, it was like more than half of them had defects in it. They didn't respond for a couple days, then sent me a message that just said to send photos. So I did send photos, but once again, it's been like four or five days and I haven't heard back from them. Um, I just wanted an answer, which was the norm. Was the great box I got more the norm? Was the crappy box I got more the norm or was it somewhere in between there? I mean, did they send good boxes to you for your first box to get you to come back for a second? And that's more represent, representative, sorry, of their, you know, product. I really don't know. So at this point, my second box, I'm just trying to get my money back. So, so far, as I said, I was able to list 23 items. A lot of them, though, listed with flaws. I've sold three so far, but they sold for such little money because two of the pieces that sold were flawed. So I'm still negative $66.30 in the hole for the second box. And then the last thing I want to update you on was from the video where we bought the tub of American Girl doll stuff and Build-A-Bear stuff. So... If you haven't seen that video, you should really go back and watch it because it's amazing. But we bought an entire tub of um, just a mixed lot of stuff. And when we got it to the car and home and sorted out, it had three 
real American Girl dolls in it, a bunch of their accessories and sets, plus tons of Build-A-Bear clothes. So, so far, I for that lot, where is it? Oh, um, we paid $10 for it. We've sold one doll, two of the accessory sets, a pair of shoes, and a, and a small lot of Build-A-Bear clothes. And our profit so far is $157.75. So that's pretty amazing considering the fact we still have two of the dolls to sell and they'll sell for around $100 each. So woohoo! So I just wanted to give you that little update. Um, now we'll go on and show you some of the cool things that we got at an estate sale this weekend. All right, so as I mentioned, we went to an estate sale this weekend. So my friend, Erin, hi Erin, if you're watching this, um, she also recently started reselling. Um, I met her through Instagram um, years ago through my debt-free account. She lives in the Pittsburgh area too. And she messaged me and said she went to an amazing estate sale and there was still so much more stuff there and I needed to get there. And even though it was 45 minutes from our house, um, we decided to go and check it out. And we got some really interesting things that I thought I would share with you. Because even she commented on, I sent her pictures of what I got and she's like, I would have not picked any of that stuff up. So it's not our usual clothes and shoes, you know, that we normally pick up um, at the bins and at 99 cents day. But it's some really cool different stuff in most of it is vintage some is newer so um i guess we'll start with these little houses i'm gonna give them to justin i have sold these before they're vintage like made out of cardboard say japan on the bottom they were that one was 35 cents little christmas houses they're just so cute some of them need a few repairs done like the steeple is off the church but i have the pieces here I mean, these houses can sell for like groupings of them, like well over a hundred dollars. I will have to look and see, cause I saw some have name brands on them. Um, like people mention brands in the listing and I don't see brands on here. So I'll do some research, but I mean, I would think that we should be able to get at least a hundred dollars. Sorry dropping my stuff for this box of um, items. I'll tell you at the end what we paid for everything. But so we have that box of Christmas houses. Um, since we're doing our Christmas theme right now, I'll grab these guys. Um, these, they're like the felt like bodies. So there are as plastic and the rubber faces, um, Christmas Santas. This one does have a mark on it. I'll see if I can clean it off. I mean, I saw ones this same size on Etsy for like $50, which personally I think is a bit ridiculous. I would assume we'll get between $20 and $25 for the old Santas. They're just cute and they have bells on them. All right. And then Justin, you want to grab the other Christmas item that we got? I'll set Santas over there. As you can see, we did not clean for you, which must mean we're friends now because you're seeing the eBay room messy. All right. So check out this cool Santa in the bathtub. It is the, we've sold numerous things numerous ones of these. It's the Motionette. Um, it still has the little tag on it, so I'm going to flip it on. So you can hear his bathtub noises. He moves his hand a little bit. I don't know if he's supposed to move it more or not, but oh, it's moving some. I'll take a video. Here, I'll shut it off. I'll take a video. Oh, it's still going. I'll take a video of it and put the video in the listing too, because I like people to see exactly what they're getting. It's a little dusty. I, I made the mistake of blowing on it before, and apparently it had glitter all in it because it was in a box with other Christmas stuff, and I blew glitter all over the room over there. Then I took it outside and cleaned it the rest of the way. You can just set it back down. But um, So that's Santa. I looked them up, and they seem to go about 70 to $90 for the Santa. Um, there was a couple listed and a couple sold right now. Um, I don't know if it'll go better closer to Christmas. I'll put it up shortly though and, you know, just stay more firm on my price. So these two items that we'll talk about next are really good finds. So they're, oh, sorry, we're getting, we're getting, there we go, tip back. Um, one of the boxes has the Batman model. I'm sorry, they're all Batman, sorry. One has the airplane in it and one has the car. So they're model kits. They're from 1995. Um, at first I thought they were the same thing. And then I realized that each box, even though it has the picture of both, it only features one inside. 
So there was none currently listed. And the last one that sold of the Batmobile, I did not find any of the planes, but the Batmobile sold for $150. So I listed both of those separately for $139.99 each. So we'll see how they do. I feel like most of this stuff that we're going to show you today is like long tail items. These are more collector items, more fun things, you know, the kind of things that people give out like as Christmas presents and stuff. So they might not sell this time of year, but that's a okay. We're fine with holding on to them. All right. So we got those two things. Um, this one is so cute. This is a handmade ceramics and it lights up. It's just, um, the Christmas cat. My mom did ceramics when I was a kid. So she has, she said she remembered this version. She picked the friendlier version. Hers is popping out of a pumpkin that was a little more kid friendly since she painted when we were young. But I mean, people have these on Etsy for ridiculous amounts of money. Um, but I think realistically, we'll probably get around $50 for him. Yeah, I just, I would have never thought until we started reselling that things like this that were hand painted would be worth very much at all but we have been pleasantly surprised we've sold a couple things over the years that have gone for good money um that are made like that um do you want to grab your green ghost game justin <laughs> justin found sure. this one oh. oh sorry the box is ripping a little <laughs> oh i hope you hold it up so what is it called? Oh, Green Ghost Game. That literally is what it's called. <laughs> yeah, Green Ghost Game. All right. So this is like a vintage game. And we were like shocked. We took it out of the package. And it's like the pieces are in these brown, like paper bags, like what you would put a school lunch in. But that's the way it came when we looked it up. Um, did you like research it at all when you found it? I just it? Looked, looked it up real quick to see okay. if it was even worth looking into. Okay. So I will put a picture of the comps on the screen, but this can sell easily in the 150 range. It appears the only thing we're missing is the directions, but there are tons of little pieces and even has black feathers. I don't know why. Scared me at first when you open a bag of a vintage toy that you took out of like an old barn looking thing and you see furry feathers, you can ask Justin. I was like, there's, there's something in this bag. And then we realized it went to the game, but that was an total like complete awesome find um yeah he had just said it and said check this out and um it started pouring and we were kind of in and outside and so i didn't even look it up until we got home myself i just um was like okay we're just gonna get it we just made a big pile and helped for the best this is a more recent i think it might be 2005 piece it's like an erector set um so but it was sealed so i decided to grab it um the last one that sold sold for 50 that was new sold for $50 with free shipping. Right now there's two used ones listed for $39 and $35 plus ship. Since mine was new, I put it up for $49.99 plus ship. We'll see. Like I said, this could easily be something that hangs on till closer to Christmas. Um, another item that we grabbed that was new in the box. Definitely that one's even newer. I think it's from like 2015 or something like that. DC nano metal figs. It's called, I don't know. Um, there was a decent amount listed, so it'll probably be there for a while, but I put it up for $37 and 99 cents plus shipping. Um, this one I was super excited about. And then we realized that it was missing pieces. So I I am unfamiliar with this. What was the year on? I can't remember. Was it like 89 maybe? 87. 87. All right. I don't remember it from 1987. But um, I would have been, how old would I have been? Like, like eight? Something like that. Um, So it's this cool video art, like electronic drawing set. They can't really see it. You're, you're holding it to yourself. So we got it home and I was like, Justin, you got to test this. It's so cool. We open it up. It is so clean and it has the joystick. It has the, whatever that thing is called. The, what is that called? Console. Console thing. Um, I forget. There's some other things in the box. But then we realized that the power cord is missing. So we have no way to test it. So first I'm like all bummed because, and I'm saying to him, I'm like, oh, the power cord's gone. And then I decided to like really look into it. And 
broken ones that are selling for parts and pieces that include the box are selling for a hundred dollars sometimes even a little bit more so since the unit is so clean inside and the box is like in really great condition still gonna sell for a hundred dollars and we don't even have to test it so that seemed like a win um howdy doody game this was a dud i just loved this game <laughs> you want to open it up and just show real quick it is so cute um it's like wooden it's 100 percent complete it like folds out and it is in like pristine condition but there's a few listed and none sold it's from 1949 like just crazy so i don't know if it'll get thrown out at a garage sale if i'll just hold on to it and see if um put it up closer to christmas when people are looking for you know presents for someone that collects howdy doody stuff but I just saw it and I was like, this is so cute. And I didn't even do any research on it, but it's okay. I still like it. This is another dud. We're showing you the two duds in a row. Um, we couldn't get it to work. There was, what was, there was it a- It has corrosion in the batteries. But or, I think a piece was snapped well, off yeah, too. Like it's supposed, you know, like how up. there's like that metal piece that the battery slides down into and it moves. Well, half of it is missing. So I don't know if that's the part, if it worked, it would sell for a lot, but um, I'll have to look and see if we can piece it out at all. If not, it's it's just a loss. But it was like a little roller coaster with Sesame Street characters, and I think it was from the 80s. Up next, toss across game. Fun fact, we have this exact one, same box, same everything at our camp. Um, so I remembered looking it up there before and knowing it had some value. They seem to sell for around $35 to $40. This one looks in great condition, has the original bean bags and everything. And it's from, I think it's from the 1960s, I do believe is what this version, I don't know if it says on the front at all. I'm just basing it on because I know when it was purchased for my aunt. So that's why I, oh wait. 1970 is what Oh, it 1969 there. it says yeah. there. So yeah, somewhere around there late 60s early 70s um do you want to grab something else out of there <clears throat> this i was really excited about the original hungry hungry hippos i don't know about you but like when they redid the hungry hungry hippos we bought brooke a version when she was little and it just stinks like they made them so chintzy and lightweight and they don't really work so this one is definitely missing a bunch of the marbles there's some in there but there's not enough um i worked on making the hippos go and their heads pop out but i feel like they need to go up a little too and they don't so i'm not sure but i will completely take video of it when i post it but what did i have it seems like it'll go for 25 to 30 dollars i mean if i get it up and functioning perfectly here i'll take it take um that. it could be more than that <clears throat> the next game was a fun find never ever heard of this game mosquito nope so i look it up and at first i find none so then i go into the solds and i find a bunch sold for 25 dollars each so i'm like sure then i get it home and open it up i don't know if you can tell it has never been used it is still sealed in the cellophane even though the box is very dirty like the game is still inside is in pristine condition like the stickers that you're supposed to attach are floating around though i can't guarantee their stickiness at this point <laughs> um so since ones that were used sold for 25 i kind of feel like we might be able to get more in the 50 dollars range for this game so but still no matter what i mean if you see this game out and about i think you can at least get 25 for it because like i said there's a few sold and currently none listed until i get this up um this erector set wasn't very good there was tons listed and currently none sold i might it's brand new i might just throw it out at a garage sale and put five bucks on it just to recruit you know my money because it's sealed but yeah it just didn't seem like that popular it was originally from walmart it says on it for 25 dollars um grab this risk game certain versions of risk especially older ones can sell for a um, good bit of money this one was so so it did uh, it looks super clean inside complete i think it'll go somewhere in the 20 to 25 dollar range so not outstanding but still decent and do we just have one thing left i'm looking over my list to see if i missed anything but i think that's all Some stuff oh, oh it's falling out <laughs> so this is a barbie it's made to look like a barbie suitcase but then it 
pops open and like it's like a closet and it has like a bathtub it actually has i was shocked a working light it just flipped on you could see it it's missing some of the pieces and it has a handle that pops out like a rolling suitcase would and the piece is missing from the top of the handle they attach some strings so you could actually use it so i don't know i think it should we should get probably like 20 to 25 for it overall um so oh there was one other thing i'm gonna have brooke insert a photo right now this baby buggy so i had just a slightly lighter blue version of this baby buggy when i was a kid so this one is probably from the late 70s maybe early 80s um and i just saw it and it was pristine condition like the top is made out of this thin like vinyl material which you know after all the years i feel like would turn to shards if you really like hit it hard mm -hmm. um but the vinyl was in perfect condition like it has springs on it like bounces and the wheels mine had broken oh i just touched my microphone sorry mine had broken wheels on it um when santa assembled mine he um was a little too forceful and broke some of the wheels so mine had wooden wheels that were cut out and homemade and attached to it so that it worked properly but this one still had its original working wheels so i bought it purely for nostalgia nostalgia is that right yes i just i was like justin was like what are you gonna do with that and i was like i don't know i just love it i can't leave it here well i got it home and i sent pictures to my sister and everybody joked and said that my niece would try to steal it i have a six-year-old niece that is like the best baby doll mom you will ever meet she loves her baby dolls more than anything she sets them up for dinner every night and gives them a real plate of food she just loves them so after i thought about it i was like there is no better place for this baby buggy so i took it to her yesterday and she was in love you would think it was a brand new toy like off of the assembly line she drove it all around she told us all the features it had how it was easy to pop up on the curb i mean she was so excited so that made my heart so happy so including the baby buggy that's everything we got and we paid 90 dollars total for everything so you know once we got home and at first i was a little nervous i was like oh that was a little higher he said 100 i said 75. he just stared at me and finally he was like 90 and i was like all right we'll do 90. um i'm not really the big negotiator you normally have to negotiate everything but i was just like a hundred dollars um so yeah i pulled out my negotiating skills which obviously aren't that good because i only got ten dollars off um but after we got home and like looked everything up, we were pleasantly surprised. Even with the things that were duds or broken or whatever, I still feel like we should get close to around like a thousand dollars before fees after we sell everything. So ninety into a thousand, not too shabby. And um, my niece got a new baby buggy, and she considers that priceless. So um, overall, it was a cool haul, and I think we had fun digging there. Yeah. We got in trouble for digging where we weren't supposed to. We got dirty and we got wet. So I think that's all signs of a good a good um, day at an estate sale at a big, gross place that hasn't been touched in a long time. All right. I guess that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Why, why don't you tell them what they should do, honey, since you've been quiet this video? What do we need them to do? Subscribe. Hit the, what? Hit the like button. Yes, there you go. <laughs> the thumbs up. Yes. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. You hit the button because I, or hit that thing. Hi, Berkey. Yes, you'll need to cut this off. Didn't work. Just hit the button on the face.